back to the Handbag Angels YouTube channel or if this is your first time here, hello and thank you for choosing to watch us today. If you are new here, my name is Jess and I work at a company called Handbag Angels. We are a UK business and we sell handmade felt organisers or inserts, whatever you want to call them, for your favourite designer handbags. But enough of that, let's get on with the video. <music> Today I am going to be talking to you all about the Coach Tabby handbags. Now they are such popular handbags at the minute, I'm sure you've seen them all over social media, I know I definitely have and I have actually just recently bought myself one so that is one of the reasons why I wanted to do today's video as well as the fact that they are just such a relevant topic in the handbag world. I do also appreciate that perhaps people aren't that familiar with the Tabby handbags so here is a quick look at the two handbags we're going to be looking at today. This is the Coach Tabby, just the standard Tabby 26. The 26 refers to the size, and I believe you can get it in the 26 size and the 18 size. And then here we have the Pillow Tabby version. So it's same handbag, but as you can see, it's like a squishy pillow version. And this is also in the 26 size. Both styles are so popular at the minute, and I believe that will be down to the fact that for designer handbags, they are considered quite affordable. The standard tabby, now we have ours in like the textured leather, this is just a standard one, in the 26 size. This is currently £450, whereas the pillow version is £550, so a bit of a price jump there to this style. But let's start by taking a closer look at the regular tabby. So like I said, ours is in the textured leather, it's a lovely cream or like ivory colour with beautiful gold hardware. Now this hardware isn't too yellow, it's a really nice like toned down gold. On the back there is a slip pocket that you could perhaps fit maybe a card or a bit of cash in. I mean there is actually a face mask in there at the minute, <laughs> let's get that out of the way. It has a detachable shoulder strap and also comes with, where is it? It also comes with an adjustable shoulder crossbody strap. So yeah, this is fully adjustable and can be worn on the shoulder or across the body. The handbag opens with a magnetic press stud and then you've actually got another slip pocket on the front there. Inside, the lining is suede. It's like a really nice mustard colour, which you don't see very often. It's quite a nice contrast to the cream exterior. And inside you have two compartments, which is which are divided by an internal zip pocket. And then at the back there, you've got another slip pocket. So quite a lot of pockets going on here. Speaking about the lining, I do just want to quickly talk to you about our handbag liners for this bag. Now with the lining being suede, if you were to mark this with a pen or a lipstick, it's gonna stain and it's gonna be really hard to get clean because of it being suede. So that is why we really do recommend our handbag inserts, which I will grab now. So we have a two set of inserts here for this handbag in the colour Nude Teddy and I will just quickly show you what they look like inside the bag. So the Nude Teddy contrasts the mustard interior really nicely. Um, our inserts, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a bit of a cold going on. Um, our inserts are made from 3mm felt, so they do not take up much space at all. And they're just going to make sure that the interior of your handbag is kept pristine. The middle zip pocket as well, really easy to open and close. You know, I'm not finding that it gets stuck or anything like that. Really accessible and just a great way of keeping your belongings more secure. Moving on to the pillow version of the tabby. And like I said before, this is still the 26 size. The only difference being the material and the overall look of the bag, as you can see. It's basically like a squishy version of the reg of the regular tabby. Now this is actually my own handbag that I have treated myself to as like an early Christmas present and the story behind it being that I've wanted a green handbag for, well I've been thinking about it for a month or two now, I was looking at the Mulberry Mini Alexa in the long green, I was just kind of looking at a lot of different green bags and I couldn't really pick one or think oh I really want to spend that much um, and I really like wearing green because I feel like it matches my hair like it's a nice contrast to my hair I've got a green jumper on so I, I just like wearing a lot of green and then about two weeks ago now I went to Vista Village the designer outlet and this handbag was there in the coach store um, it was reduced from 550 to 450 so 100 pounds off I looked at it tried it on took a few pictures and I didn't buy it and then I got home and Vista Village is not local to me it's like a three hour drive so I got home and I was like oh, I really wish I'd have bought that bag so then I thought, right, I'm thinking about it this much. Surely 
it's meant to be kind of thing. So then I went on to Facebook groups, pre-loved sites, to try and find one a little bit cheaper just to see what was out there. If not, <clears throat> sorry, if I couldn't, I was likely just gonna buy, buy it online or maybe I was also thinking of ringing the Vista Village store to see if they could ship it out to me. However, I then stumbled across this on Depop, surprisingly. Now, I do buy and sell things on Depop, but not necessarily luxury items. Um, but I found this and the lovely lady who was selling it had everything, the dust bag, the little cards that come with it. Um, yeah, and it hadn't even been used. And I managed to grab this for £360. Obviously, like I said, it's meant to be 550 got it for 360 And I just thought, right, I'm doing it. So this is my me to me Christmas present that I've given myself early. The leather is so soft. Now, it does have a very slight texture to it. But I would class this as smooth leather. Now I am usually a hater of smooth leather handbags because I get very scared of my nails scratching against it and stuff but I just love the bag that much that I was willing to compromise on that and I just took the plunge and did it. Um, so the difference is being with this bag the logo is leather and then outlined with the hardware rather than it being a full gold logo. Still got the tab on, uh, there are, there's no pocket on the back so that is another difference. You get the detachable shoulder strap as well as a crossbody strap like the regular. Let me just grab that. Now this strap is also adjustable. It's in the same kind of leather. And yeah, just it's always good when a handbag has like different ways to wear it. The opening and closing is also the same. It's a magnetic press stud. I've still got the protective sticker on there. And then inside you will, you will be able to see the handbag liners that our seamstress has designed for this bag. I went for emerald green just to match the bag quite nicely. It's just a bit of a bright pop of colour. Again, you've got the zip pocket in the middle. Again, really easy to open and close. I used this bag at the weekend for the first time. I went on a little shopping trip to Leeds and I found myself using that pocket quite a lot. I popped my, I think I put my bank cards in it and stuff. So yeah, I found it really easy to use. Um, and there is no internal slip pocket in this one like there is with the regular. So there are less pockets. Um, if that's something that you wanted to consider if you are deciding between these two bags and obviously the other factor being that this is more pricey. I would probably say that material wise the regular tabit is more practical and more durable as like I said before the leather of this is very soft could get scratched quite easily whereas if you scratched this one you would not be able to tell. It's not gonna show up as easily at all. Before I go on to what fits in both of these handbags, I just want to talk about the, you know, the how you wear. I'm sat on my chair really weirdly. I just realized I'm not even sat in the middle of my chair. I've probably been sat like that this whole video. Uh, right, like I was saying, the wear of these bags, shoulder bags are so in fashion at the moment. And these handbags are just so easy. Oops, got a bit twisted there with the tab. These are so easy to just pop on your shoulder, carry under your arm, really comfortable to wear. I found this one was very comfortable to wear anyway. The only issue I did find, not really an issue, this is just me being really particular, because I felt like, because the leather of the strap is so smooth, I found it slip off my shoulder a few times. Now that could have just been me not carrying it properly. I could have just, you know, like been walking around and then it was slipping, but that was just one thing I did note. Um, I actually haven't used the regular, because this belongs to my director Leslie, um, but both very comfortable to wear on the shoulder. And when you remove the shoulder strap, I think both bags look great as a crossbody when you then put the longer strap on. Both come to a really good length, and like I say, it's such an added bonus when they are adjustable. So you know, if you're on the taller or the shorter side, they're fully adjustable. So yeah, always something to bear in mind. Now, what fits in these bags? So I'm gonna start with the pillow, because that's just what I've got in my hand now. And then I'm basically going to see, basically going to see if everything that fits in here fits in the other one. So I'm going to start with a mobile phone. Just got a, just got an iPhone. Why did I just say mobile phone? I never, I've never said that before in my life. <laughs> I'm going to start with a phone, not a mobile phone. Pop that in the first pocket. And then I've also got, sorry, everything's down here that I'm using today. I've got um, a Louis Vuitton, like this is the Rosalie coin purse, I believe. Um, fits in coins and cards. That's gonna go in there as well. And then I've also got our Louis Vuitton key pouch or key holder, whatever you want to call it. Um, a bunch of keys would suffice. You know, like I popped my keys, my actual bunch of keys in here at the weekend. And yeah, they take up more, more room because it is an actual bunch of keys, but they still fit in there. So, so far they fit in there like that. Yeah, room is a bit limited, but 
I don't know, each to their own as to what you carry on a day-to-day -day basis. I've then also got like a travel Chanel perfume and a Saint Laurent lipstick. So let's just see where these are going to fit in. And again, you could easily remove the card holder and simply place your cards and your cash in that middle zip pocket. So, you know, there's a lot of, there is room to work with. So that's what that looks like so far. So as you can see, I probably can't get much more in there. If I was to put more in, I'm going to have to start piling things on top of each other. Um, but let's see if it still closes. Yeah, that, that closes more than comfortably. So you could definitely get a few extra little bits in, like maybe a small comb, another lipstick, maybe a makeup brush, something like that. So let's see if all that fits in the regular one. And it's worth noting that all that is with our handbag liners inside as well. So that's just proof that they really don't compromise the internal space that much at all. Right, let's start switching. I do feel like the regular is going to hold more just because you've got, you can use these slip pockets as well. Um, and I feel like the, I don't know, it just, it, it, feel more, it feels more roomy inside. I don't know if that's because of the nature of this leather, because it is like pillowy. On the inside, it's pillowy as well. So it's, you know, stuffing out the inside a little bit, if that makes sense. Right, so I'm taking the phone, pop that in. I could even pop that in the slip pocket, actually. Yeah, look at that, that easily fits in there. Then got the, what's this one? Is that the key holder? Oh, this is the Rosalie coin purse. Slip that in there. Got the key holder. Again, maybe not a massive bunch of keys, but a small bunch of keys would, you know, be a good replacement of that. Then I'm going to take the Chanel travel perfume, pop that in the back. I think that's what's kind of compromising room. Not everybody really carries a perfume with them, do they? So. That's not really an essential. Then I've got the lipstick in the back. Right, so already I can see that so much more will fit in there. Can you see that? Especially in the back compartment in here, definitely room for more. And I've not even utilised the back slip pocket or the internal zip pocket. So I feel like if you're trying to decide between the two and you want the one that's going to fit more, I do feel like this one is the one to go for. This one, it, things just seem a little tighter. Yeah, things just feel a little bit more restricted in the pillow compared to this one, which you would think it would be the other way around because this is a less structured bag to this one. But like I said, the pillow material, the pillow style applies on the inside as well. And it's, yeah, a little bit tighter in there. Well, having said that, it's not as pillowy on the inside as the outside. But yeah, I just think because of the material, that's why the, in the inside is a little tighter. Overall opinion, where's the... Just realise this one's not got the tag on. Maybe it's at Leslie's house. Maybe she's taken it off at some point. Or maybe it doesn't come with one. I'm going to have to check that on the website. I was sure that it came with one of these. Anyway, my overall opinion on the Coach Tabby. I love, 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 love it. And I did an Instagram video two days ago, three days ago, uh, basically saying that I bet these are going to be so popular on people's Christmas lists this year because, yeah, they are still 400 or 500 pounds, but for a designer bag and the, you know, the current climate with luxury handbags and price increases and all the rest, I would say that these can be considered affordable. And Coach is a brand that you can often find on websites that do discount codes. So I know that um, a website called My Bag, they sell coach bags. And when you sign up, you get 15% of everything. So automatically you can get 15% off coach bags, uh, maybe My Teresa, you know, all them kind of websites. They often do a discount code, whether it's 10%, 15%. So my point that I'm trying to make is you can usually find some kind of discount code for coach bags. And not even on their website, they tend to do sales quite often. So yeah. Some people don't really see Coach as a designer brand. I do. Um, yeah, it's at the lower end of like the price range, but that doesn't mean it's not designer. So, and also if you're looking to start buying luxury handbags, definitely a good place to start. I mean, I do not own many handbags I've got. I've got this, this is the third bag that I've bought myself. Um, I also have the Gucci Super Mini Marmot handbag and the Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette. Now that can be, class as a handbag or more a small leather good but yeah all my handbags are class well I would class them as affordable uh, my Gucci bag I managed to find pre-loved again so if you are just trying to start out a little handbag collection 
definitely a contender. That does conclude today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope it's made you want to come back for our future videos and it would mean the world to us if you could subscribe to our channel. It would also be really lovely if you could follow us on Instagram and TikTok, all the rest. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time.